so on a micro level uh, the advent of pgs sharing wings with ugs in certain hostels like h13 for example when in their second year mtech students uh, leave h1 and go to h13 it leads to a lot of intra wing interaction between ugs and pgs where they get to participate in intra hostel activities they get to go for wing treats and do a lot of stuff together with the, the ug students now how do you see that changing for people who remain in pg hostels like h1 h11 h12 i mean do you think there should be only UG PG hostels or there should be certain hostels devoted solely to PGs only do you feel that PGs need to be secluded for want of a better term so that they can continue uh, with their academic focus or would PGs welcome such moves definitely not i won't uh, i mean personally i won't like this and i if you ask the institute people some sort of pg students that they, they won't need a separate pg hostel or separate pg hostels definitely the thing is that that, that depends on the person to person if he, he feels comfortable with ugs or ug feels comfortable with pg then he, then this 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 kind of uh, things can work out very well the wing dates and uh, the, the other program which can be organized uh, amongst both ug and pg students but still uh, i think that at uh, the pg hostels somewhat feel comfortable right. as compared to the the one which are pg hostel this is the main reason why people shift to hostel well after apart from being the hostel well attraction that it, it has got a very good food and you get place to live in apart from that also that most of their friends live together because they don't get chance to interact with pg in a such short, short span of time so definitely they prefer that but still i don't think that there is a need for a separate pg and pg hostel i i i beg to differ on this particular point here I mean, this shine, shyness factor in mean, the reticence uh, among the uh, freshy PGs, if if that needs to be uh, overcome, uh, there there has to be a, you know it acts as a support mechanism for them having you know exclusive PG hostels to overcome their shyness or or, or to just have, think that you know they are on some on some kind of equal footing. I wouldn't say this is applicable to every one of the PGs. It's just that at least initially having uh, a mechanism like this. uh we would allay their fears to some extent and but i don't think that it will create a better environment in the institute as far as no but if you if you gang them up with ugs uh, right from day one i mean do you see any interaction uh, whatsoever i mean they would even i mean we are of course you know there, there is no denying the fact that we are continually amazed by the ugs and what all they do and we do not want to be overwhelmed i mean i mean at least i don't want those ugs to get absolutely overwhelmed looking at uh, you know all, all these things you know some of these things fly in our faces that okay we we start feeling really one alternative uh, and a better solution what i feel is to improve the representation of pg students in ho- at hostel level right so this can be a very good option to offer because i think that ug pg interaction is not there or ugs are dominating in hostel pg hostel mainly because of representation so if you make a mandatory representation of pg students in a hostel if we can make that right from the first year then it can be a very good option to improve this situation rather than creating separate ug pg hostels which may i mean in some way overall disturb the environment of the institute that ugs are separated from pgs maybe 